Scientists may finally know how large earthquakes start with many smaller ones. KPIX 5's Len Ramirez is at the U.S. Geological Survey, where scientists are poring over some new and surprising data. Len? Well, Alan, the surprise is that when medium to large earthquakes have hit, especially in Southern California, they have been preceded much more frequently with tiny earthquakes than was previously thought. Scientists from the Los Alamos National Laboratory use new computer techniques to take a more detailed look at existing data taken before and after medium to large earthquakes in Southern California. They focused on two million tiny quakes that were previously all but ignored. What they found was, much to their surprise, that instead of perhaps less than half of those large events having some precursory seismicity, almost three quarters of those large events had some kind of elevated seismicity. In other words, most of the earthquakes we can feel come soon after many smaller ones. The research touches on the big question facing scientists, how do earthquakes get started? Scientists have been trying to develop earthquake early warning systems for decades. But geophysicist Brian Kilgore cautions that it's still too early to know if this could someday lead to better earthquake prediction. He says for now, the answer is no. We can't look at any particular earthquake or group of earthquakes and be able to identify whether it's a foreshock leading up to a larger earthquake or just an earthquake. This new research is adding to scientists' understanding. In fact, they are not thinking of earthquakes anymore so much as a singular event, but rather a sequence of events that ends in an earthquake that we can feel.